Testing comprehension and focus. Yes. The hard part, leaving the treat machine and facing me to repeat the behavior. Yes. With no distractions, Dory's capable of doing the behavior no problem. She leaves the treat machine and she comes and she drops in front of me. Then Dory hears a noise outside and she gets a little bit distracted. She looks, she's kind of looking around, figure, trying to figure out what it is. And she's not sure what it is. But then she refocuses and lays down. After she gets the reward, she gets a little distracted again. She's looking towards the door, wondering if somebody's coming in or wondering what's going on outside. I don't badger Dory. I just let her try and figure it out, work through it. She can't do one thing when her mind is on something else. So she sniffs around a little bit. She looks around. Again, I don't badger her. I just give her the time that she needs to kind of refocus and get back on track. Here she goes back to the treat machine. Nothing. I'm still waiting her out. Then she drops. Even though Dory's a little distracted, she rebounds and she's able to repeat the behavior. Now she's gotten a little bit distracted again, but I just let her work through it. She's still distracted, but she wants the reward, so she's trying to problem solve. So she goes back to the machine and she lays down facing the door in the machine. But I don't reward that. I wait her out. She gets up, she starts heading towards me and drops. Click, she gets the treat. Dory has successfully worked through that distraction and is able to offer me the behavior that I'm looking for again. There's two take homes from this video. First, Dory understands that she needs to face me and get the reward, which means she has to face away from the treat machine, which is the source of the food. Second, she understands that she needs to work through those distractions and still fulfill the criteria. Leaving the treat machine and blocking out distractions are both very difficult behaviors.